Alright guys, thank you for joining us this week. We've got a little bit of a delay on our video coming out this week and we do apologize, but that's because we're trying to make our videos bigger, badder, and better for you. We love the format we got here, but we are jumping to a green screen to make everything more better for our viewers, our fans, our subscribers. First off, we've got Grimsby Kids graduating grade 8 high school. They set the level for pranks. Wait till you see about that one. Second off, we've got Hockey Night in the Desert again, like they didn't learn the first time, Mr. Bettman. It didn't work in Arizona. What makes you think it's going to work in Vegas? Let's be fucking honest. Third off, we've got a bitch in a supermarket that decides to take her racist ways out in front of children and people with cell phones. Don't you people fucking learn? There's video cameras everywhere. And last but not least, who wants to eat some dog? Because I'm thinking, mmm, dog for dinner. Make sure you stick around. We got it coming at you this week on this week's video. All right, guys, welcome to the Raw Deal. The first thing we got coming at you that we found in the news this week I thought was hilarious. We've got out of Grimsby, Ontario, Canada. Canada! We've got the ultimate graduation practical joke. We've got a couple of grads that decided to purchase a Jaguar off of Kijiji, and not only did they use their geometry class, their physics class, and their auto, me auto mechanics class, they made a hoist to bring this up on the roof after they took it apart and reassembled it on the roof as a grad prank. I gotta say, gentlemen, and hats off to you guys for setting the bar way up there because that is fucking incredible. I can't wait to see what other people bring out and what they're gonna do because, that, let's be honest, if I did that when I was in high school, I probably would have never made it to college. But, got something to look forward to, guys. None of these guys got charged. They actually got let off the hook with it, and it was actually kind of funny. So in college, guys, bigger buildings, better toys, better machines to mess around with. Have fun there. All right, second on the roster tonight, we've got Hockey Night in Vegas. That's right, it's no longer Hockey Night in Canada. And guess what? Mr. Bettman did it again. Thinks he's a genius. They'll probably make a lot of fucking money off this. Let's be honest, it's Vegas. But what happens in Vegas this time will most likely die in Vegas. You think Mr. Bettman would have learned from the first fucking episode that happened in Arizona. They even had Wayne Gretzky as their goddamn coach, but yes, if you haven't already assumed what I'm talking about, that is right. Las Vegas is going to be the newest home of the expansion team for the NHL. Not Quebec. It is not going to be Seattle. It's not going to be any one of the other destinations that was approved or picked. God forbid give a team back to Quebec because people are still wearing in 2016 Nordique stuff. But, you know, it's Quebec. And the reason stated behind it through all media, the weak Canadian dollar. Weak my ass. Wait to see the millions of dollars all the investors are going to lose in Vegas. I guess they won't be the only people losing money in Vegas. Make sure you hit the tables afterwards, boys. Maybe you can recoup your losses. All right, guys. Third up on the thing here. Unfortunately, I don't want to say this, but i got to show it because it's just ignorant, rude, and fucked up. So, unfortunately, she is from Canada, from London, Ontario, Canada, and this bitch decided to pull the ultimate racism move and start assaulting one of the newcomers to Canada in front of her child at a supermarket for absolutely no reason. It's not like she cut in line. It's not like the woman stole something in the last item. It was Boxing Day and they're fucking bitch kicking each other and shit and purses are flying. No, no, it was just a random night and she just decided to be a racist bitch. Please don't let this judge Canada. Let's be honest here, guys, and just to let you know that this 38-year-old broad has been charged. Thank God that she has been charged to show that we are not those kind of people. This is not the image we want going out to everybody, is it? We're an open country. We let people come in. We take care of everybody. We love everybody because we're multicultural and have a diverse country. All right, guys, last but not least on the plate today, we've got a dog festival happening in Yulin, China. They have 10,000 dogs in this festival. Guess what? They're not for parading or walking around. They're for eating. That's right. You heard me. They eat dogs in China, in Yulin, for this festival that's going on since 2010. Six years strong and proud for eating dog. Now, I've eaten a lot of exotic animals, but I'll tell you this much. Fido, I really like him by my side, not my stomach. And that's right, China really doesn't endorse this. They don't encourage it or anything else like that. And there's been a petition going around with over 11 million signatures trying to stop this. But, hey, freedom, I guess, to an extent, it is a festival. And if you really think it's gross, don't worry. It has been going on for since and before written history. Now, you and I personally can look at this. We've done a lot of stupid shit before written history. We used to chop people's heads off in the Mayan cultures and kick them downstairs just so it would rain. Let's be honest. Do you really think that helped make it rain? Because I don't. The only time you can ever make it rain is maybe at a strip club like that. 
Throwing the money out, throwing it out. But that's right. So this is the dog festival. Over 10,000 dogs are eaten every single year in this festival in Yulin, China. Well, that's it. That's all for this week, guys. Make sure you join us two weeks from now. Make sure you leave any comments below. Whether you like me, hate me, want to make fun of me, go for it. Because trust me, I'll bring it up on the show. I would love to have your comments. You can personally email me at the raw deal at Gmail. You can go to any one of our social media sites, leave us a message. But make sure you keep coming back. Subscribe, share, like, tell your friends. Because the more people that like us, the more we're going to be getting these videos out every single week. We're trying to reach that mark. Make sure you're trying to help us. And yeah, last but not least, don't forget, keep those cell phones recording, keep those videos coming, keep those pictures coming, and keep making the news. Because if it wasn't for you, I'd have nothing to make fun of.